My name is Tart Mohideen and I'm a Hematology Oncology Fellow at the Mount Sinai Hospital and my clinical and research interest is multiple myeloma. Um, right now uh, we have been seeing a huge shift in the treatment of multiple myeloma over the past few years where immunotherapy has really changed the way we think about therapy for multiple myeloma and it has really changed clinical outcomes. Um, uh, last year at ASH, uh, I presented an abstract about the ability of sequencing T-cell redirection therapies. Um, we showed uh, a population of patients that we treated at our institution uh, where we were able to continuously have uh, deep and durable responses uh, when we treat them with different bispecific antibodies or even CAR T-cells targeting different antigens. Um, and this was basically the first uh, proof that we can still um, reactivate the immune system and be able to control myeloma further even when you fail one T-cell redirection therapy. So since then, we have been trying to figure out the mechanism of resistance to different T-cell uh, redirection therapies as well as ways of overcoming them. So there are multiple studies right now or multiple uh, groups um, that have been presenting pr some prelim data about uh, CAR T cells as well as bispecific antibodies in terms of the changes in the immune microenvironment that happen. Um, but in our case, uh, we are uh, doing a lot of immunophenotyping as well as um, studying clonal evolution um, in those patients that have been treated with sequential T cell redirection therapies. And we have been trying to see if there is any new target or any uh, differential uh, immunophenotype that we can alter or we can target in order to overcome the resistance mechanisms that uh, are stopping response uh, against the T-cell redirection therapies. So, for example, um, if we have a patient who's on a bispecific antibody, um, we see a good response at first, and then they eventually relapse or progress, um, and we're looking at the immune microenvironment to see if this is related only to the T-cells becoming exhausted, and if uh, they're presenting markers that we can target with current therapies like immune checkpoint inhibitors as well as uh, immunomodulators um, and even using uh, things like deratumumab or isatuximab, so targeting, anti uh, uh, targeting CD38 as a mechanism or as a way of overcoming this mechanism. So um, we're doing that on over 100 patients um, and uh, this is still a work in progress, but hopefully it's going to give us a lot of answers soon. Um, and it's definitely going to help our patients. And this way we'll be able to keep patients in remission for a much longer period of time. And uh, hopefully at some point be able to achieve a cure.